This is WYMT Mountain News at 530. Good evening, I'm Steve Hensley. More flyers saying they are from the Ku Klux Klan are turning up in more Kentucky towns. The latest are in Corbin. It follows reports of KKK papers in Mount Sterling and Paris and possibly other places. Police say they are looking into several complaints. WIMT's Bill Pendleton has more on what's taking place. Flags to faith-based messages are found throughout Corbin neighborhoods. But this week, something else has been found in yards and driveways, although the homeowners say they didn't put them there. And we're here to discuss just a little bit about the KKK, whom, you know, should not even be in existence now. Michael Jones says he's seen dozens of papers folded over throughout the 5th Street and Lee Avenue areas. We used spice love letters around in school. <laughs> Yeah. And that's what they look like. And there was too many of them to be love letters. Jones says what was in them was far from a love letter. It's, it's propaganda from the Ku Klux Klan speaking of a neighborhood watch and a directive to report crime and drug dealers. Let's just try to keep the peace that we have and keep our town held together without the destruction of the help from outsiders that are not needed. Corbin's police detective tells me that he has also been looking into this, but he says he's not sure if this is simply from the KKK or someone that has found something on the internet, printed them out, and then passing them around to cause trouble. Flyers state they are from the Trinity White Knights. And that's just trash all together. It's garbage. Back to the 70s, you know, it was a horrible situation. And as far as racism, you know, we can't fall back to back in the 19 and 1800s about who owned who. In Corbin, Phil Pendleton, WYMT Mountain News. Some of the flyers encourage people to call police to report drug or criminal activity, but others simply had an email address to report it directly to the Klan. Quiet afternoon for many, but not everybody is completely dry at this hour. We got a little bit of overcast along the Mountain Parkway at Slade. 79 up there right now. The, yes, they are dealing with a couple of downpours trying to get going. 80 at London Corbin Airport where the clouds are moving back in. And we see those temperatures. You see where the showers are. Mid-60s, Pikeville, upper 60s, Grundy, 79, Manchester, 80 in London. So where we're not seeing the rain, it's a little warmer out there, but we're seeing some of those downpours right on top of Pikeville. In fact, uh, over Coal Run right now as we watch one of those downpours, another to the west of Phelps. That'll be moving through over the next little bit. Had a shower near downtown Prestonsburg. That's pushed off to the east, but some showers from Salyersville down to Lakeville to Royalton into parts of McGoffin County and starting to see some development there, too, into parts of Lee. County, Kentucky. That'll continue to push off to the east and the southeast as this little band of showers tries to work on through. Not everybody will see anything tonight, but if you do, some brief heavy rain can't be ruled out. Upper 70s this evening, unless you catch a shower, eventually down into the mid-60s with a little bit of that patchy fog development, especially if we happen to run into a storm. Details, though, on when a few more storms will try to work in in a few minutes. Steve? All right, Evan, thank you. Following his historic arraignment on federal charges related to his alleged mishandling of U.S. national security secrets, former President and 2024 Republican candidate Donald Trump told a crowd of supporters that he had, quote, every right to have the documents. CBS's Christian Benavidez reports from Miami. Attorney General Merrick Garland pushed back Wednesday on Republican criticism that the Justice Department case against former President Trump, led by special counsel Jack Smith, is politically motivated. He has assembled a group of experienced and talented prosecutors and agents who share his commitment to integrity and the rule of law. On Tuesday, Trump pleaded not guilty to 37 felony counts at a federal courthouse in Miami. Afterwards, he went after the Justice Department and Smith. He's a raging and uncontrolled Trump hater. Trump is accused of allegedly retaining classified documents illegally and trying to hide them from Justice Department investigators after receiving a subpoena. He suggested outgoing presidents can take any records they want. Under the Presidential Records Act, which is civil, not criminal. 
I had every right to have these documents. Legal experts tell CBS News the Presidential Records Act draws a distinction between personal and presidential records, requiring all official records to be turned over. Fellow GOP presidential hopefuls reacted to the indictment. I can't defend what is alleged, but uh, the former president has a right uh, to his day in court. I don't think that most Republicans support the conduct that's detailed in that indictment. If Trump wins back the White House, he promised to appoint a special prosecutor to go after President Biden and his family. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, Miami. The judge says Trump is now barred from talking to Walt Nada, his co-defendant and aide about the case. He was also told not to engage with potential witnesses. Since many of those witnesses work for Trump, enforcing that order could be difficult. Following his arraignment, former President Trump is getting a fundraising boost. Trump campaign officials say he raised more than $2 million at an event in New Jersey just hours after his court appearance in Miami. They say he's raised more than $6.5 million in just the last few days. Campaign officials say it now has a playbook for dealing with indictments that seems to involve appealing to the court of public opinion. Earlier today, the Federal Reserve voted to skip an interest rate increase for now. Officials say they would pause the historic rate hiking campaign to see how the economy responds. The Fed has raised the central bank's benchmark interest rate 10 times in a row since March in an attempt to cool the U.S. economy and battle inflation that is still double the Fed's target. We understand the hardship that high inflation is causing, and we remain strongly committed to bringing inflation back down to our 2% goal. Price stability is the responsibility of the Federal Reserve. Without price stability, the economy doesn't work for anyone. In particular, without Officials price hint that additional rate hikes are likely later this year. Five senators are reintroducing a bill to block companies like TikTok from sending Americans personal data to unfriendly countries. It would subject those exports to licensing requirements similar to those for military and advanced technologies. Under it, the Commerce Department would maintain a list of nations deemed untrustworthy. The bill does not name TikTok, but the video platform is under scrutiny for its ties to China. State legislatures are still working to change election laws. A new report from the Brennan Center for Justice at New York University's law school shows that through May, at least 13 states enacted 19 expansive laws that make it easier to vote, while at least 11 states have enacted 13 restrictive voting laws. Those actions include curbing access to mail voting and implementing stricter photo ID requirements for voter registration or in-person voting. Coming up on